Welcome to the Nav Viking tutorials. I'm Johannes Gudmundsson, founder of Anecta, a Microsoft Dynamics NAV Gold certified partner. Hello, welcome to the Coffee Mac tutorials. Um, today, I kind of want to go into a topic that's uh, been kicked around a little bit. Basically, if, you, if you're thinking about actually making something in the system, uh, turning raw material into finished good, uh, you have a couple of options. And uh, so one of them is doing production order or manufacturing, and the other one is assembly orders. What are the actual differences though? So I, I'm just gonna go into that a little bit here. If I go into departments, uh, Actually, yeah, uh, let me see, go over here, get departments. Uh, we have a whole manufacturing system here. This has, this has production orders, capacity planning, um, all kinds of really neat things. So it's a fully fledged production system, has everything or everything, mostly everything you need. Um, but you can't see anything here about assemblies. It does not even have a line in our main menu. But assemblies are definitely worth looking into. So if I go into the uh, item list right here, um, we can see that uh, we have something called production bomb. So if it has a production bill of material and it has a production bomb and it's created with the production system. And then we have something called assembly bomb right next to it. <laughs> so if it has an assembly bomb, it is created with the assembly system. So two different things, right? Kind of crazy. Uh, so let's go ahead and take a look at the break here. Uh, I know we're a coffee company, uh, but we, for some reason, also do auto parts or bicycle parts in this case. Uh, so if we go into here, replenishment, this is made with a production order. And I go into the production bill of material. I get that here go into advanced, I get into the production bombs. And the production bond will contain the actual items for making a production order. Uh, and then what about the assembly? If I actually close out of there, I also have the assembly bond here. And if I fill, uh, actually sort it so I see yes, I can see these are all the assembly bombs that we have in the system. Uh, so this one actually, the loudspeaker, has both a production bomb and an assembly bomb, which I think is kind of interesting. But anyways, um, let's go into the storage system. Uh, and we can actually navigate into the assembly bombs here. Assembly bomb. And you can see that's very similar. Uh, we have a list of ingredients in here. So what is really the difference? Well, the difference is mostly uh, assembly bomb is like kidding. It, you can actually put in items. You could actually put in resources, which is labor, but that's about it. Um, and you will make exactly what you said that you're going to make when you're making the assembly bomb. Uh, so like if you don't have like a bill of material, production bill of material there, you can actually say you're going to use five and you ended up using six and that's okay. It just accumulates a cost. Whereas in the assembly bomb, you have to use five. So always use exactly what you have. Um, so that's one big difference. Uh, it's just a lot less sophisticated. Another way, uh, another difference is the capacity. So if if I here and in, go into the production system again, I'm just going to go into departments and go into capacities. So here we have machine center and work centers. And machine centers, work centers, you can assign the jobs, what we call routes, to each one of the work centers to actually perform the uh, production. This does not exist in the assemblies. They don't have anything close to that. There is no assignment to a work center or a machine center. There are no routes. It's kind of like a recipe. A recipe has two parts. First part is what you put into the recipe. The second part is how you do it, like what uh, processes it goes through. Uh, in the kitting or in the assembly, you only have the ingredients that go in. You don't have any of the methods being measured. Uh, so no capacity planning in the assemblies. 
Um, so the, and this is a huge, huge part. Also, we have something called planning in the in manufacturing. So there's a planning worksheet where you calculate the need uh, to actually uh, make the finished good. So you have uh, called an MRP or MSP. And uh, you don't have that in the assembly orders either. So you do have some minor planning in the assembly orders, but not as sophisticated as this. So that's kind of the high level, uh, you know, take on these two items. What I actually wanted to do is go deeper into this in subsequent videos, uh, since manufacturing seems to be a hot topic. There's a lot of uh, views on my manufacturing uh, video. So I would like to do it better justice and kind of dive into the differences between assembly orders and the actual manufacturing a little bit further by just running through them. So I hope you got something out of this. Basically, the assembly orders are good for just putting kitting together, uh, not with any type of assignment to machine centers, work centers, or any type of um, resource planning. Uh, whereas the production order itself can do much, much more. Um, so I uh, hope you, like I said, got something out of this. Thumbs up if you uh, like this video and subscribe if you haven't. Thanks.